How's it going, everyone? Uh, this is an update on my ZR1. Uh, first, I'll tell you about the Trans Am. Um, found out the hard way that testers lacquers, they got like three different kinds. They got the regular testers lacquer, and they got the model masters lacquer, and they got the one coat lacquer. Well, I thought maybe they were all the same formula, so I, I was spraying the clear on that Trans Am, and I ran out of one, so I started using another one. And when I polished it out, they didn't seem to meld together, and you could see where they were separated. Something something didn't work with them. So I had to uh, put the hood. It's in brake fluid. I, I use brake fluid. I don't use that degreaser. Brake fluid's just safer. It doesn't have the fumes. It doesn't mess up with your skin. It works faster, like two hours, not overnight. It works on lacquers, which that degreaser doesn't like to do. So it's soaking in the brake fluid. Uh, the body should be fine, because I went ahead and put more coats of the one coat lacquer which will be the only lacquer I use from now on I won't use the other kinds um, the one the regular testers lacquer actually pales things it's actually got kind of a white white to it uh, so I won't be using that anymore just the one coat lacquer be all I ever use um, the Ferrari I have painted it uh, testers enamel Italian red and it's got a couple spots on there I'm not happy with before I clear it I want to have to sand them down so I gotta wait for that to cure, which of course takes a week or two, because it's enamel. Um, so that's what that going on there. My '68 vet, the yellow one, it's cleared, ready to go. Here in a couple of days, I'll polish it out. Uh, I will have the Trans Am done soon, because it's just a hood. Like I said, the body should be fine. I just put more coats of regular lacquer on it. It should be fine. Uh, so this is an update on my vet for the most part. So let me go ahead and get you off there, and I'll show you what's going on with the vet. All right, I got the parts all laid out here on my, on my little table. Um, see, this is the hood. Uh, I'm getting ready to clear the body. I just put uh, carbon fiber decals on it. So I just got the hood here. I'll get the body cleared tonight. But uh, that hood turned out great. Uh, it's not polished. And you can see, I, I don't even know if I'm going to polish it. I don't think I really have to. At least not wet stain it. I might, you know, throw some wax on it, but... Other than that, I mean, that, that, that thing's just smooth and shiny as can be. So that's that. Um, let's see. There's my chassis. And I did look this thing up online like I always do. And I found a... Um, it's, it's not really the actual car. It's more like a show thing that GM did when they put this thing together. And they made this car, they, they took it out on the road and showed it off or whatever. And they had this mock, this chassis. But they polished it up and they cleaned it up and whatnot. You know, to show it off. But I went ahead and uh, made my car look a little bit like it. I'll show you what I'm talking about here as soon as I can find it. You know, a lot of pictures of this car. <laughs> there we go. See, they made this little chassis. That they took around the car shows. I mean, the actual frame is all aluminum like that, but then you know the exhaust isn't all painted shiny black or whatever that was. So you know, I didn't do it exactly like that thing. There's another shot of it there, but I did it similar, just because it does have an aluminum frame and whatnot. But yeah, my mufflers aren't that shiny. You know, there, there's the whole thing there. But I did somewhat like that. Um, as you can see, you know, there's the there's the suspensions there. There's the brakes. That's a different color than the body. That blue on that and the engine cover is different than the body. So I had to mix that to try to get the right color, which I saw on that. There's my. My interior. The actual interior color of this car is called dark titanium. So I use my titanium metalizer and uh, put some semi-gloss clear on it. So that's nice. That worked out great. And of course the center console on here is carbon fiber. So I painted that with my graphite metallic, which looks like carbon fiber as you can see. So I did that. Um, the, the model comes with decals to put on there. And inside the seats where it's a different color, but I, I don't want to go to use decals. What's the challenge in that, right? What's the fun in that? So I uh I actually put paint 
I had to find the right color paint to put on them. You can see the door panels, the same same deal there. Let's see, I guess that's about all I can show you here. There's the sway bars, there's shocks. I'm gonna put um has an oil tank right there. It has a little oil tank, you know, it's a dry sump. So I'm going to it has a dipstick that goes to that oil tank, so I'm going to use this little yellow wire here and make a little dipstick out of it. Um, it has spark plug wires. They're really short. They're visible on a real car. So I'm going to go ahead and put them on here. Um, I got the actual color wire here. It's kind of a dark blue. So I'll do that. So that's about as far as you know any kind of wiring and plumbing goes on this thing. Uh, the body, like I said, I last night... I put the carbon fiber decals on the on the roof. I'll go ahead and show you that. It's in the room here. I'm getting ready to clear it. I haven't cleared it yet. I just got the carbon fiber decals on it. I rearranged my room in here. I took all the paint used to be up there. Now I got it down here on these shelves. This is what I do with my paint before I use any can paint. I just set it here by the hot by the hot so it warms up the paint. So let's sit there. But let me show you the carbon fiber hood here. I mean the roof rather. If it gets it, well, I'm taking it back out. No, I don't want to take it out there. It might get some dust on it. I just washed this off. I'm getting ready to clear it. But you can see, I wish this light was brighter, but it's a piece of junk. It's kind of burning out. It's one of them fluorescent things. But that looks good. I still, you know, it gets black around the windows. So I got to do that after I clear it. Um, I put the direction of the fiber weave, the actual way it's supposed to go like it is on the car. I did not carbon fiber the the side skirts there at Sills or the splitter because they're kind of small and the carbon fiber actually folds to underneath the car. I tried to do a piece. It, it turned out okay, but it would end, I would end up having to do it in like a few different pieces. And I, I don't know if I could get the carbon, the weave to all go the same direction. So I just painted it with the graphite metallic, those little pieces, and just got the roof with the fiber decals. But it'll, it'll turn out great. Hopefully the body ends up as shiny as the, the hood did. I don't have to do too much polishing to it. It turned out really smooth. You know, I wet sanded the primer on this one, uh, airbrushed paint. That's another reason why it turned out pretty smooth, I'm guessing. But yeah, I'm going to clear coat to that tonight. So that should be, should be nice. Uh, let's see, I guess that's about all I can show you now. There's my, there's my vet. It's curing. Some people say they can uh, wet stain and buff out that lacquer in just a day or two. I give it a little few more days. I mean, I'm not going to do it in one day, two days. I, I give it a few, three, four days, I guess, just to make sure. But yeah, uh, I'll keep you up to date on whichever one of them gets done first hopefully it'll be the Trans Am like I said it doesn't take long for that uh, brake fluid to get through the paint it's pretty fast actually it's really fast it only takes a couple hours so I'll get that done I was kind of upset when it happened but it's gonna turn out perfect when it's done and so is this vet this vet's gonna be really nice yeah this is gonna be one of my nicest street models here but that's that for now so take care